Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricardo and I'm Bujo Boosted. So first of all, I want to thank and welcome to my channel all of my new followers. I was so, so happy to see that I just got more than 1,000 followers and that's absolutely mind-blowing considering the fact that my subscriber goal for this month was to reach 200 followers. So thank you guys. Right, today I'm very excited to finally show you my Checker Life Check spread. So uh, a lot of people have been requesting this video ever since I first posted a picture of my um, Checker Life Check spread back in November, I think. The Checker Life Check is a spread that I've created in order to keep track of different areas of my life and finally to have a global view of how my life is going and uh, in order to identify where I need to work on and how I can improve uh, my life. Some people have asked me whether this spread was inspired by the level 10 life spread which is really popular right now and the answer is no. In fact, I have never used the level 10 life uh, spread. I'd say they are similar in a way that they both track how your life is going and um, all the different areas you want to work on and improve on. So as usual, I have created a specific spread within my uh, YouTube journal, which I'm really, really happy about. And uh, I wanted to tell you guys that I feel like so, so grateful that I've actually started this journal because I feel that it's becoming part of the community. And I'm so happy to see that a lot of you are actually being inspired by this journal and uh, are actually um, learning uh, some lessons about bullet journaling thanks to this journal. So I'm really, really happy to share this um, with my community. Before we dive into today's video, I wanted to emphasize a bit the fact that I have created this spread, so you are completely free to use it. I would actually love to hear from you what you think about the spread and whether it works or not for you. If you share pictures, videos about the spread on social media, I'd love uh, if you could credit me, that would be absolutely awesome. Also, I have fixed a date for my Q&A video and that's going to be next Wednesday. So if you have questions uh, about bullet journaling, journaling in general, or more personal questions, feel free to leave those in a comment below and I'll answer those in my upcoming video. So with no further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are. I'm going to first uh, show you the spread that I have created within the community journal and then my actual Checker Life Check spread within my bullet journal so that you'll see how this worked out uh, during the month of December. First of all, what is a Checker Life Check? So to me, a Checker Life Check is a spread that basically you use in order to know how well you are doing on different aspects of your life. This is a spread that I fill in every week at the end of the week in order to have a monthly review of my life, of all different aspects of my life. And that to me is really, really important because I can uh, reflect on how my life is going in general on a weekly basis so I can identify really easily and clearly what I must work on and finally be able to improve my life um, as a whole. So this spread is heavily based on my quality tracking system. So if you haven't already, go check that video out. I have a spread a specific uh, to my quality tracking system right here. So first of all, where to start? So I have um, divided the whole process in three steps and I'm going to go over each step. So step one is to take time to think about your life and identify eight different aspects, areas of your life. Here are some examples of areas that you could uh, track within your checker life check spread. I have, for example, personal, that's about my happiness uh, in general. I track like how happy I feel, how satisfied, how motivated, and uh, that's very important. Then university studies, if you're a student or if you're learning something, your family, 
your sport, if you do some sport, your social media, like how um, your account is going, if you're gaining followers, if you're working on it uh, as you would like to, or if you're neglecting that, your finances, that's, um, that's very important as well. Your work in general, if you're satisfied about your work, your physical environment. So if you are, if you like your home, if you want to do some changes, if you feel there is something wrong with your house, that's very important as well. So to me, personal should always be part of the system. It's very central in your life. If you're not happy, if you're not feeling all right with yourself, I think that it's hard to work on different areas so you must focus on that one first so once you have identified uh, your eight different aspects i want you to divide them into four different levels according to how important all these aspects are for you so i'm gonna give you an example so that it's gonna be really clear you want to divide the eight areas that you have identified in four levels according to this system so one for uh, level one two areas for level two two areas for level three and three areas for level four In general when thinking about your life there are things that are going to be more important than others that's why i wanted to focus on the importance of all the different aspects i give you a, a an example here this is the one that i'm currently using within my um checker life check spread so as you can see, my level one is personal. That's personal development, personal uh, well-being, how I feel about my life in general. And uh, to me, that's the most important. Then in level two, I have study and creativity. So I am a student, so it is important uh, to me that I focus on my studies, on the university and on succeeding first. So creativity is a very important part of my life. I like to uh, sit down and draw new spreads, to create new designs, think about how I could, um, you know, develop new stuff for my bullet journal. And uh, I think it is very important for me that I have enough time, that I spend time on creativity. Sometimes I may have a very busy schedule, but to me it is important that I work on that area because I am a creative person and I need you know to feed that and after that I have uh, social media and sport so uh, to me social media are extremely important but still like I have rationally decided that to me social media are not as important as university or as my personal development for example you may have like I don't know like one billion subscribers but if you're not feeling happy then what's the point right so i have decided to put that on level three of my uh of my scale and i have sport as well I love to go to the gym and improve my health more and that's why i have decided to put this here but still that's uh less important the university which means that i'm not skipping some classes or some study sessions because I need to go to the gym. I'd rather study, get things done, than go to the gym. So that's how I've developed my system. After that, I have my finances. That's uh, really important because you know you want to have a certain amount of money. But since I am still a student, that's not as important. In this moment of my life, that's not what I want to focus the most on. Then I have my physical environment. It's very important to have a physical environment that encourages you to get things done and be productive. But still, that's uh, less important than all the other levels up here. And work. I decided to put work here because I, uh, I have a part-time job. And that's important because... Um, you know, I really need to have the extra cash for going through the month. But still, I'm not a worker right now. So that's uh, not as important as all the other aspects. So do take time to think about your areas and to divide them into different levels. Leave me a comment below if uh, that wasn't clear enough. I can clarify it more if needed. 
After that, you need to set up a clear system for identifying all your eight aspects. Since we are going to put all the aspects within our checker, uh, it is important that uh, you clearly refer to a certain aspect with a doodle or a letter or a color, for example. So set a system that works for you. It's really important that you know at a glance which area you are tracking so uh, that the spread is useful. At the end of the day <laughs> so keep it fun and simple as you can see here I have a doodle for each aspect and this just makes sense to me for those of you who don't know what these things are <laughs> those are Chinese characters uh, since I'm learning Chinese uh, I love to have like some characters in my system they're really easy to draw and um, they really speak to me so once you've gone through uh, the three steps step one two and three here, we can move to the actual spread. So I'm gonna give you first an example of a one week checker life check, then a two week checker life check, and finally a four week checker life check, which is the spread that I use um, within my bullet journal. What you wanna do uh, is that you want to draw a box like this one, and you want to divide this into uh, nine boxes. We're going to use only eight boxes out of nine. The, the one in the center is uh, only for tracking the week. So this is week one for me. In order to put the areas in your tracker, the first thing that you do is that you choose a corner and that's your level one. And on your opposite corner, you're going to have level four. So you have this evolution here as you go up or as you go on uh, the side. Level one is here. Level two is here and here. Level three is here and level four in your opposite side. So as I've said before, I'm going to use my quality tracking system in order to fill this uh, checker life check in. So at the end of the week, I'm going to color each box either red, green, yellow or orange. You think about each of your aspect con and consciously choose a different color. So for example, I said that that week I was really happy and I felt really motivated. So that would be green for me. Also, let's say that, I don't know, I went to the gym uh, two times and that was the goal for the week. So that's green as well. But for example, I don't know, let's say that I didn't study that much or let's say that I didn't study at all because I, I was being lazy. So that would be red to me. You check your account and you have like $100 left and uh, that's not much. So that would be orange, for example. and so on. So at the end of the week, your uh, checker weekly checker life check is going to look like this. If you, want, if you want to know more about how I colored things in, go check out my quality video in my channel. So remember, level one is always on a corner and level four is always on the opposite corner and you move uh, according to the arrows here. So moving to the two week uh, checker life check, it's basically the same. I'm going to copy the colors from my week one to my week one here. So now I have my week one here, just like the other week up here, and you want to add a second week. So what you do is that you draw a, another weekly checker life check right next to it. And what's really important is that this area here in the middle is common to both this one and this one. When you set your second week up next to it, 
uh, you just uh, you may think uh, about your checker life check as a mirror as you can see here my home is both here and here the money is here and here sport is here and study it's here and this column is in common Think about it as a mirror in order to uh, put all your actions. Let's say we are at the end of the second week and um, you decided to work more on your studies but still you were kind of lazy. So that went from red to yellow. And uh, I don't know that we but you know as you worked more maybe you didn't have time uh, to do some sport, so that went from green to yellow. And uh, you added some money in your bank account, now it's green. And so on, so I'm going to fill uh, the rest of the spread just like I did with the first one. Before we move to the other one, I want to focus once more to uh, all the levels and how the level system works. As you can see, I have my level one here in the middle and that's common for both week one and week two. My level two goes up according to the arrows and then level three and all the level four for in the corners. So level one here, level four in the corner, level one here, level four in the corner and then two, three, two, three, two, three. I hope that's clear. Okay, so moving on to the next spread. Uh, what you want to do is that you want to do the same thing for four weeks. Now here I have week one all the way through week four. So it can look a bit confusing at first, but what you need to remember is that you have your level one always at the center of your four week check or life check. That's the most important aspect of your life. And to me, that's uh, personal. That's my well-being. That's my personal development. That's the center of your life. As you move towards the external part of your system, of your check or life check, you have all the different aspects of your life according to all the different levels. When setting uh, the whole system up, remember about the mirror. So you first draw in your first week here. Level one in the corner, level four on the opposite corner, level two, level three. And then it's just like a mirror. There is a mirror here. So level one, level four, level two here, level three here. A mirror here. So level one on one corner, level four on the opposite corner, level two, level three, level one, level two, level three, and the same here, you know, level one, level two, level three, level four, level one, level two, level three, level four, level four here. Before moving to uh, my finished spread within my bullet journal, I'm going to color in the check or life check spread, but according to the levels, not according to the week. This way, I hope that it will be even more clear how uh, you need to look at the spread at the end of the month. So first of all, let's color in level one. level one. It's right in the center of your spread and the, all the boxes that are touched by um, this level give you the quality of that area. So this is me. That's my personal development. How well, how happy I feel. And I know that throughout the month I was, feel, I was feeling mainly very good, but you know, there was some trouble. I was feeling kind of low on week three. I'm gonna do the same for level two. Level two is the second circle right here. So let's, let's color that in. So 
here you have your level two. As you can see, level two is a kind of a bigger circle around uh, yourself here in the center, in the middle. But I wanted to focus on the fact that you can uh, either look at a level because all each level is a bigger circle around yourself at the center, or you can uh, focus on the act on the area specifically. So, for example, my creativity is here and here. I know that all the boxes that are touched by uh, the productivity doodle represent how well I was on that area. So I can see here that on week one and two was both green. And on week three and four, it was green and yellow. That means that something went not as I wanted to and uh, that I was not, uh, you know, as creative, that I did not work on my productivity as I wanted to. Same for studying, for example. I have my studying here and here. I know that on week one, I was red. Week two was yellow. But then it went better, you know, on week three. So uh, what I really like is that it's really compact and you have a lot of information in one space. You just need to know how to read it. I'm going to do the same for level three. Let's go. Guys, now level three is completed, is entirely uh, colored in. You color in your th first three levels, you end up coloring um, this part of your spread. This is the inner part of your spread and that's the most important. That's where your level one up to level three are. Again, you can either focus on the level, which is the third big circle here, or the plus here, you know, that's centered on yourself. Or you can focus on the different activi activities. For example, that social media here, social media here. Remember that e all the boxes that are touched by a specific do doodle, uh, those boxes represent how well you performed let's say, on sport or on social media and so on. Now you can see really clearly, I hope, then uh, the closer you are to the center, the more important um, the area is. So what you want is that uh, all the boxes closest to uh, yourself, to the center, are the greenest possible. You want to see the spread as your life and you want to see all the levels as sort of circles around yourself. So you have the first circle here, that's level one. Then you have level two here. Then you have level three here. And level four all around. I'm going to color level four in as well so that you have a global view of what the Checker Life Check um, looks like at the end of the full month. And I'm going to show you later my own uh, Checker Life Check within my bullet journal. Alright guys, so that's what uh, our final um, four week checker life check looks like. The purpose of this spread is to give you a clear view overview of your life and of all the different areas of your life. Once your spread is done, you can focus on your life, uh, focusing on different aspects. So you can, uh, you may want, for example, to only focus on the weeks so that you can see that on week one, you have four green. There was some red uh, for your studies. So you didn't study that much and uh, you didn't have that much money. So you want, you may want to focus more on time. In that case, you have the information you need because you have week one, week two, week three, week four. So you focus on one specific week and you don't care much about what happened on the other weeks. 
or you want to focus on one specific activity, for example. Let's say you want to focus on social media. Social media is here and here. So you know that the first week was great and uh, the second one wasn't that great. And you work hard on social media on week three, but not really on week four and so on. Also, you can reflect on your life according to the levels because those are the circles here around uh, yourself, which is at the center. So I hope, I really, really hope that this was clear enough. If it's not, please let me know that in a comment below. I can give you some more uh, explanations. I can, you know, film an extra video if needed, but I really want that my message get to you. So now I'm going to show you my um, Checker Life Check spread within my bullet journal and we're gonna see uh, what my life uh, looked like in December. Hey guys, so here we are. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. Uh, all the areas and the levels are here as shown and these are the same as in the example I just gave you. So I have personal for my level one, studying creativity for level two social and exercise for level three and finances home and work for level four in this spread i have decided um to identify all the levels um, more by adding some colors so my level one is the first circle here that's where the purple is uh, the orange is for level two so that's uh the second circle green is the third circle here that goes from here to here and uh, um, this uh, blue is for level four. So as you may notice, I don't have orange uh, in my uh, checker life check because when I first started using it, I only I was only using three colors and not four. But if you saw my uh, quality video, I have decided to actually add a fourth color because I I feel I need to have to be more precise uh, about that. So um, let's focus. So as you can see, I have mainly green. <laughs> let's focus first on my week one, for example. All right, week one, I had uh, almost everything green. I did not go to the to the gym as I wanted, so I have yellow here, and I barely studied anything, guys. <laughs> and that's probably because I was focusing more on social media and productivity, I guess. Then uh, my week two was great. You know, I got a lot of things done. I started more, not as much as I wanted, but still, I was really pretty satisfied about the week. Then week three, I did not have that much time to go to the gym, as you can see, but that's all right. You know, life happens. Same on week four. I did not have that much time to go to the gym. When I look at my checker life check, I focus first on my level one. My level one here is entirely green and that's what I want. That's the most important thing for me. If I'm happy throughout the month, then the rest, yes, the rest is important, but you know, I'd rather be happy than have all green in my life and then have reds in here. Then I want to focus on my level two. My level two is the orange here. That's where I have, um, some red and yellows. Here I can see clearly that I've not been studying that much or as I wanted because my setting is here and here and I have one red and three yellows which is not a good sign at all. And huh, look what, my social media is entirely green up here and down here. So I suppose that, you know, that, um, yes, I've been focusing more on social media than studying. Productivity, I have green here and green here. I was really happy. I've been really productive. I've been creating a lot of spreads, working a lot on, on my bullet journal, on my YouTube journal, so I'm happy about that. My level three, which is the other circle here, well, uh, gym is something that I definitely need to work on because I only had a green out of four, one red, two reds and one yellow. So I truly need to work on that. Um, then social media is green. And level four, 
you know, is always the corner, the external corner. And here is green, green. Oh, I have some yellow here because I couldn't work that much on that week. But that's all right because my financial situation is green. So even though I didn't work that much, you know, I still have enough money on my bank account. So that's what matters. And um, here I can see that I have uh, some yellow in my physical environment here and here. And that means that I really need to work on reorganizing myself, on decluttering my home. So I hope guys that this was helpful and that you'll all set your check your life check up. I'd really love um, to have some feedbacks from other people that use um, this system. So feel free to set your own system up, take pictures, send me a message, let me know what's going on in your life. So if you want to share your checker life check, please use the hashtag. Uh, you can tag me on your picture so that I, you are sure that I can see it. Please, I'd love that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know in a comment below what you thought about the checker life check. Would you use this spread? Uh, how would you improve? Which areas would you track within your checker life check? Since 2017 is almost around the corner, I want to wish you all some great holidays and a very, very happy new year. So I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!